Coach Jay Johnson and the Arizona Wildcat baseball team are following up on the signing of the nation's third best recruiting class by being nationally ranked going into the season. That's right. Collegiate Baseball just released its fabulous 40 NCAA Division I preseason poll. And guess what? Coach Jay Johnson and the Wildcats chime in at number 26. Now this is footage of the Wildcats' last exhibition game when they took on the Mexican League professional team, the Hermosillo Nanaqueros, in front of a nearly packed crowd at Kino Stadium, right here in Tucson. Believe it or not, it was like a road game, even here in the old Pueblo for the Wildcats, with the Nanaqueros being so popular in this region of the border southwest, and hey, it ended in a tie. As for the rankings going into the upcoming season for games to count, Coach Johnson's coming off a third straight 30-win campaign and is one of six teams from the Pac-12 to be nationally ranked. Third baseman Nick Quintana returns after being named the third team All-American for the preseason. He is one of a number of key returners. We have full details on the entire team and those coming back on KVOA.com. Back to hoops after the disappointing loss to Baylor at home for the U of A men's basketball team. The Wildcats get their chance for redemption Wednesday night at McHale Center against Montana. Tip-off is set for 6.30 p.m. Moving on, if you haven't noticed, the Arizona women's basketball team has won 9 of 10 games and have broken off 8 victories in a row. So my question to you as a fan is, why are we seeing a less average attendance this season than last year? While the men's team averages over 14,000, the women's games rarely break the 2,000 fan mark. But that can be changed, my friends. Diehard fans like Judith Blair, the mother of Arizona great Joseph Blair, recently wrote a guest column in the Arizona Daily Star and she was urging more fans to turn out. Well, Mama Blair, I've got your back. Definitely second that notion. Friday against NAU is an awesome opportunity to support the Wildcats, my friends. The great granddaughter of the creator of basketball, James Naismith, will be on hand to be honored by Mayor Rothschild. Hope to see you then. Hey, there's a whole lot to be proud of if you're a Pima College sports fan right now, apart from Coach Jim Monaco leading the football team to a bowl game in the program's final season. Coach Dave Cosgrove took the Aztec men's soccer team to a national championship, and now, get this, Cosgrove and his assistants have helped Pima College be, the, be named the United Soccer Coaches Junior College Division I Coaching Staff of the Year. Cosgrove and assistant coaches Javier Rolguin, Alex Rangel, and Gabe Mendoza were all instrumental in leading Pima to 26 wins and just two losses. And this is footage of the Pima soccer team as they returned with the national championship in hand. Cosgrove has been a mainstay in the Tucson soccer team and the Tucson soccer uh, area for over two decades. Meanwhile, assistant Javier Rolguin has been an excellent addition and Gabe Mendoza is a proud product of the Sunnyside Unified School District. Mendoza was a former standout at Denzel View High School before heading to Pima. Also, Alex Rangel is a Pima College alum. Hey, quickly, congrats is also in order to Pima College basketball player Haley Lawson. She was just named Conference Player of the Week after scoring 35 points and grabbing nine rebounds against Tohono Atam Community College. That's it for now. We'll be right back for the last look at your weather.